Hey, welcome to Toast on Silverstoner TV. Hit subscribe and that bell beside so you get notified when I upload next time. And also hit that like button. Now, I know you're up to speed, but just in case you're not, Florida is known for a lot of crazy shit, bat shit crazy, um, and a lot of horrible things just go on there unnecessarily, right? Now, I am also a very consistent individual. Well, obviously not consistent with these YouTube videos because one, YouTube don't really look out for a nigga and subscribers are hella fickle, but that's neither here nor there. I'm consistent with my points, okay? You can go back to videos from two years ago to right now, and I say the same fucking things if they are pertaining, pertaining to the same topics, okay? Now, with that being said, I am going to be consistent in my point that, nigga, if you are fucking with my child, I'm killing you, all right? Period, nigga, or I'm going to at least attempt to kill you, all right? Now, basically, a Florida man... Pulls up to his son's middle school with the fucking AK-47 looking for someone who was putting his hands on his kid. All right. And like I say, Florida's crazy, but this nigga ain't. All right. Well, he might be crazy, but the good kind of crazy. All right. He is well within his rights to be doing what the fuck he did. Now, basically, um, this man. All right, Christopher Freeman, I believe what his name is. Listen, I, I'm, I'm not sure of the first name right now, so we're going to just call him Freeman. All right, now Freeman, he's at home, okay? He's in a wheelchair, and he's at home. Now, he gets a fucking FaceTime call from his son, who is at school, all right? Now, I don't know about you niggas, all right? This is speaking for me, all right? But if my son is is uh facetiming me during school hours or my daughter is facetiming me during school hours those are fucking red flag situations all right obviously i'll be like what the fuck is going on okay and obviously there was a an emergency situation because the son called the dad on facetime crying okay and then um he let him know that a teacher slammed him and then abruptly the phone call uh, ended once some some adult or a teacher grabbed the son or something like that, and then the phone call ended. All right, now that pissed the dad off. He obviously pulls up, okay, to the school trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. All right, so he enters the office with a AK-47 extension hanging out of his goddamn pants. All right, now the resource officer or the principal, I'm not sure who, but um, they noticed this, and then they, they fucking put the school on lockdown, right? The dad is then arrested, and then uh, he's charged with two... He, listen, he was charged with, like, assault, aggravated assault or some shit, and um, disrupting the school function. Now, um, robocalls were made out to the students of the the um, the school, right? And they detailed in the conversation that, uh, yo, you know, some, some crazy nigga pulled up with a gun, but he did not threaten anyone, and nobody was hurt. So that in turn got the, the charges um, against the father who was doing what f uh, a real father would do, right? But anyway, anyway, they fucking charged him or they dropped those charges in, in, and charged him with lesser um, charges right now. He's actually serving one year of fucking house arrest right now, uh, right? It's re ridiculous. But um, yeah, man, I'm under the, the impression that you know, if Timmy or Sally has some shit going on and, and their dad pulled up with this double barrel shotgun, he wouldn't be in jail. He'd be looked at as a goddamn hero. And I'm sure that the student or no, the teachers or whoever was responsible for harming students would be dealt with. Right. But that's not the fucking case here. OK, now we ain't even got to what happened with the, with the, with whoever was responsible for hurting the kid because that didn't happen, okay? All we know is the dad got locked up for trying to be a good dad, looking after his kid, worrying about his child's well-being and safety, and whoever did whatever got off scot-free, okay? Niggas over there slamming kids. So listen, man, if you live in the West Palm Beach area, you need to watch what what um what schools you're sending your kids to, period. That's anybody. Um, anywhere, not even just over there. If you are fucking um, worried about that shit, homeschool them, send them to a charter school, send them to a private school or something like that, bro. But man, it's, it's, it's fucking crazy. Listen, like I say, 
if anyone is ever doing anything to my kid, I will be in this man right here that you see on the screen. I'll be in his place. All right. Probably from worse, though, because I might end up popping a nigga. But about my son. All right. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. I'm about to get up out of here. I know I ain't made no videos in a minute. I've also been tired and I've been, you know, unmotivated. OK, YouTube is on some bullshit like always. And subscribers are fucking fickle as fuck like always so hey man you get what you get all right but y'all let me know what y'all think about this if you're watching i'm about to get up out of here um and let me know what you doing if you were in a situation like this guy right here all right because i man listen florida's crazy but i'm crazier all right i'm gone